Welcome back to Design Thinking with Mr. Callie. Today we're going to continue going over our simple machines and introducing a new one. Um, we're going to be talking today about the screw. Now what I have in front of you are different types of screws. I'm sure that's kind of how you think of a screw. Um, would be like our, our um, wood screw that we have there. I have a deck screw. I have drywall screws. Um, I have some nuts and bolts out here, which you might think are screws too, and they all are. Um, but I want to introduce and show you guys that there's lots of different ways that screws are used. Um, screws are actually one of the most commonly used simple machines that we actually see um, out in the world today. I'm sure you can find tons at your house as you start exploring this this week. Um, in front of me, I have different examples. I have a C-clamp. Um, this is one of the ways that screws are used is to hold things together. So yet we have our normal screws right down here. But then if you look here on the C-clamp, there's a screw that goes through there. And the screw is actually, as I tighten it, it holds these pieces of wood together. I also found a different screw on the top of this bottle. So on this bottle, there's a screw at the top, and I, so I turn to the right, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. As I turn it right, it actually tightens that on and holds this together. So if there was a liquid in here, I would not be having a problem, right? Um, I also then, um, aside from holding screws together, we also use screws to create precise holes when we're drilling with drill bits, for example. Um, I will have that in my video later that you'll see. I drill with my drill press and these some drill bits, precise holes through some wood. That's another way that um, the screw is used. A screw is also then, the, the third type of job that it's usually used for is to um, carry or transfer um, significant amounts of weight. So it can carry loads, heavy loads, or transfer loads or lift them. Um, here's a really good example of that. This is my car jack that's just in my car. Now you might see other kinds that are outside of cars that are uh, like a hydraulic jack that you pump, but this is a jack that actually has a screw inside of it. And as I would twist here, it actually can be put under my car to lift my car up. Um, so that's one way that screws are used. As you twist this, it actually would raise up and it would lift up my car if I'd have maybe a flat or something on the side of the road. So these are all three different ways that screws are used. They are used to hold things together. They are used to create precise holes um, in things or objects. And then they also are used to lift or transfer heavy loads. So let's talk about how um, a screw gives us mechanical advantage. Um, just like we talked about last week, we have a pulley. So there's a reason why we use simple machines. Um, and really the strength of your screws hold is all gonna depend upon the width of the threads that you have. So you can see I have threads on here, I have threads on here, these little bumps, that's what we call the threads. Um, so it's gonna be the width of the threads, so how big they are. It's also going to be um, the distance between the thread that will give it strength. So the more threads you have on there, the stronger it's going to be. And then also, obviously, the, just the size. So you can see that this bolt is a lot larger than this screw. So if I was mounting something to the wall, I'd probably go with this bolt over a screw, but it totally depends um, on the job that I'm, I'm doing, which is why we have so many different types of screws um, and why it is one of the most commonly used simple machines today. We will then also be uh, making a screw together. So I'm gonna show you um, a way to make a screw at home. So your job this week is to one, go around and search for some screws and tell me what they're doing. Show me if they're holding up a heavy load, show me if they're holding things together. Um, maybe you have some holes in your house so your dad could, um, or mom can show you that maybe we're drilled using a um, drill press or a drill bit. Um, you can also then create the screw if you'd like. So if you'd like to make a screw, I'd love to see what you make one. Um, you can follow my design or um, there's other ways you can make a screw too. So why don't you just uh, send those videos, make sure you're sending that to me, the videos, the pictures in Class Dojo, or remember you can email them to me as well. I'd love to see what you're doing, um, whether you're finding them or making them, make sure you're sending that to Mr. Callie um, so that I can see what you're doing at home because I'd love to connect with you. I hope all is well and I will talk to you soon.